Kevin Carmichael is an author, speaker, and YouTuber who at my leg called the modern day Napoleon Hill. He went from making $300 per month and being introverted and shy to having over 300 million people watching his YouTube videos. And today we're gonna learn from his best advice on how to actually sell your product. Mentor me, Evan. Okay, let's kick it off with rule number one. Start for free. The free leads you to the paid. If you have no momentum, no traction, no clients, then start for free. Prove your worth and build momentum. Give them something they can't wait to have again and pay for this time. The goal isn't to do free forever, but the free gives you the thing that you're missing the most, which is momentum in your business. So I'm pre-launching my book right now, Built to Serve, and people who buy the book and pre-order also get access to my private Facebook group where I help people one-on-one -on -one every week. And so the guy that I had on last week is a coach. He's a health coach. He wants to help people make transformations to their health because he made a radical shift in his health as well. And I said, great, well, how are you doing right now? Well, I have a couple of clients, but I'm still working at a restaurant. I want to be able to leave that so I can focus on this full time. Awesome. If you're a coach, what I need to see you is coaching. I need to see you coaching people. What I'd love to see now is an Instagram Live regular show. And what do you do on your Instagram Live? You bring on people who need help being coached through a health transformation. Because it's one thing to say, I'm a coach and I help people get these results. It's another though to actually see people change. To have you go live with them one on one and help them bust through their limiting beliefs and their mindset and the issues that they're, they're dealing with. And then to come out on the other side by the end of the call feeling hope, feeling invigorated, feeling inspired because people will watch that and say, man, I want a result like that. They see themselves in the client that you're helping and they then want it for themselves. Now you get two versions. One will be free people. One will be like, can you do me? I I I'll take it for free which is great. Don't say no, don't get discouraged, don't get upset. You want the free because the free gives you the content. And so if they're willing to come on and do live on Instagram with you for free, then you do it. And there'll be other people who say, hey, I love what you're doing. I need a radical transformation in my health as well, but I don't wanna be on Instagram. I don't wanna make it public. Can I, can I hire you privately? Bingo, right? That's what we're looking for. That's when you start getting paid. The free leads to the paid. Whatever it is that you wanna get known for, whatever it is you wanna start making money with, show it to me publicly for free. And if other people want it publicly for free as well, then it's a yes, especially at the beginning when you have no momentum and no clients and you're working some job that you hate. Yes, for free, yes. One, you get better at it because the more you do, the better you'll get. And two, you're building momentum and people start talking about you. And then you get to the people who will see it and say, I want that person. I want to, I want to hire that person. And any repeat people, if they want more, they want coaching session number two, it's paid. Here's how much it costs. The free leads you to the paid. Also, if you want to have more confidence and motivations, check out our 254 series, where every day we will send you a video, a special video by email for free. To help you build your confidence, the link is in the description below and you have an overview of what your book is all about and you write into them, there's usually a general email address so you can connect with them. You can use rejection as fuel to help you go off and do something bigger and, and motivation to, I'm gonna prove them wrong. Surround yourself with greatness. If you want to be more confident, you need to surround yourself with things that make you feel confident. Rule number two, love what you make. Making a product that people love starts with you making something that you love. Really, think about it. Would you buy from you? Would you subscribe to you? Would you comment and tell your friends about you? In our rush to get rich, to make money, we push products out that we don't love and if you don't love them, people around you won't love them either. So look at my YouTube channel as an example. I love my YouTube channel. I make my YouTube channel for myself. I learn, it's selfish, it's for me. The top 10 rules videos, the Espresso videos, the content that I bring together, I need it, it's my education. I love my channel, I would share my channel with other people. If I saw my channel and I wasn't creating, it'd be the first thing that I subscribe to. It would be much watch YouTube for me. I need it. And if you guys didn't like it, 
I would still create it for myself. It wouldn't have as much editing and fancy effects and all that stuff, but I would still do it because I need it for me. I make it for myself selfishly and then I share it with you guys and thankfully you guys like it enough that I can turn a business from it and continue to hire a team and create more content and pump more stuff out but as much as I think that my channel still needs to get better and grow and improve and I still suck and I need to continuously get better at the, at the work that I do I think my channel deserves a Nobel Peace Prize like I think my channel is amazing and you have to love what you do. You have to feel like the thing that you're doing, yes, can always get better, but it's really solving a problem. Your product, your service, what you create, your expertise solves a problem. You know that it's genuinely helping people. If you don't have that belief, you're never gonna win. This is why so many people who are starting businesses, when you go and you look at hot business trends for 2019 or 2020 or how to win in network marketing and like what products I should sell. If that's how you're starting, you're going to lose. If you're just chasing trends, you will lose. There's nothing wrong with network marketing per se. Just most of the people getting into it are just trying to make a buck. Just like how most people get into entrepreneurship. You're just trying to make money. Too many people. And then you end up going broke because the people who love doing that thing will crush you every day of the week. Think about who you're going up against. You're going up against people in whatever industry you're in. You're going up against people who have experience, who have expertise, who have knowledge and love the thing that they're doing. And you're going to go in because it's a hot trend for this year and expect to win. No. Now, if you love it and you absorb it and it's, it's for you, and it's must have, you will pour so much energy, so much love, so much creativity and find a path that nobody else has seen before. That's how you ultimately win. That's how you can then start talking about it, start promoting it, start building exposure, getting word of mouth. If you want people to talk about you, you have to create something that is worth talking about and there's no way that you create it unless you absolutely love the thing that you're doing. So you have to create a product or service that you would use yourself. You have to create a channel that you would subscribe to yourself. You have to feel confident that if your mom was suffering with a problem that your business could solve, that you would recommend it 100% to your mom. If my mom was struggling with entrepreneurship, you need to subscribe to my channel. It will help you. It will save you. If you can't be like that yet, go back, make it better until you find something that you absolutely love and pour your energy into. So I'm gonna give you a three-step process that you can follow to help you evaluate where you're at and how you can get better. Step number one, get out of your space. Wherever you're at right now, wherever you're working, you're in front of your computer, you're at your office, you're at your home, your basement, whatever, wherever you normally work, wherever you are right now, get out of your space. Just get out of your typical space. Go outside for a walk, go down to the lobby, cross the street, whatever. Get outside your typical space. Okay. Step number two, now that you're in a different space, think about your customers. Think about who you are helping. Think about the problem that you solve. So if it's me, I can go for a walk outside. I'm thinking about entrepreneurs. I'm getting out of my space. It's too easy to get locked into what, what I'm doing, right? I gotta, make, I gotta make 20 videos today. I gotta respond to comments. I gotta connect with my team. I gotta, all the stuff adds up and we forget about our customers. So I go outside and think about entrepreneurs. And I try to picture the people that I've helped, the people who've come to my workshops, the people who ask me questions, the people who join me on lives, right? Close your eyes, you're in a new space now, and you think about your customers. Think about the people who you help, the people that you are designing your products and services for. Think about them, picture them. Try to picture somebody, right? Picture an individual that you know that you are trying to help. Picture that person in your mind. And if you don't have a customer yet, think about the ideal customers that you're trying to target and try to come up with a face, somebody that you can look at. And in step number three, go back to where you were, go back to your office, your computer, wherever you were with that person in mind and then evaluate your products. With that person in mind, look at your YouTube videos, look at your products, look at your services, look at your Instagram feed, whatever you're trying to get out there, look at your books, look at your books, whatever you're trying to promote, look at them with that person in mind now. You've stepped outside your day to day. You're above, you're not in the, in the muck of doing all the work. I know you've got tons of stuff to do. You're an entrepreneur, I feel you. You've stepped outside, you've imagined that person, you're coming back and looking at your products or services with fresh eyes, with them in mind. Do they actually need it? Will this change their life? Will this solve their problems? And if not, 
go make it better. Now I've got a very special bonus clip that I think you're gonna enjoy, but before that, it's time for the question of the day. What can you do right now to start for free? And if you made it this far in the video and you promise to take action after watching it. We don't just watch videos, we do something about it. I want to celebrate you. Please give me a hashtag believe in the comment below. I think you need to be your customer's chief goal officer. I think if you want to win in business, you have to understand your customers. You become their chief goal officer. If you want to accomplish your goals, the best way to get there is help your customers accomplish their goals. If you're helping them, you're solving problems, guess what? You're going to make money. They're going to pay you to do it. Now you have to combine what they want, right? You're the chief goal officer. This is what they want and combine it with what you love doing. Can you help them solve that problem? Are you the person to solve it or do you want to refer somebody else off to them to solve that problem? When you can mix those things together, the thing you absolutely love doing with what the customer so desperately wants, that's when you start to win. If you want to learn how to find purpose, please check out the video next to me. I think you're gonna enjoy. I'll see you there, believe. Have a purpose. What are you doing this for? If you're starting a business just trying to make money, you're never gonna make it. It's not gonna work. You're gonna quit as soon as it gets hard.